Hey guys, for our 2024 election prediction, we are doing Mitt Romney as the Democrat versus Donald Trump the Republican. And yes, I know that Mitt Romney is a Republican, but he is a strong Trump critic. So this is in the case that Biden, that one, Biden does not seek re-election, and two, that Donald Trump wins the Republican nomination, and Mitt Romney is so angry that he leaves the de- that he leaves the Republican Party, joins the Democrats, and is nominated for president by the Democrats. So Mitt Romney will be seen as a traitor to the Republican Party, and that will hurt him a lot. He won't win any Republican votes. Well, he will win some, I guess, but not many. And also, Democrats won't adore him, so he will be very weak. Those two, you know, those key factors will hurt him badly, and really there will be no safe Repub- or safe Democratic states in this election. Well, there might be, but who knows. I don't think any state would be solid for Mitt Romney. Um... I think he would be popular enough to win the states of California, Oregon, and Washington. D.C., of course, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, Vermont, Massachusetts. Um, you know, very safe Republican states along with Illinois. Um, but I do think that, or, and yeah, we'll come back to New York. And um, New Hampshire would go to Donald Trump. I think this isn't an area that Mitt Romney did very well in in the 2012 election. And, you know, many less people are going to turn out for Mitt Romney. And the Republican Party is going to slam Mitt Romney like he is insane. Um, I think he would, Trump would also carry Maine, even though it's a pretty progressive state. Because we do need to remember that uh, whatever party he's in, Mitt Romney is still a conservative. And many Democrats, especially near the eastern seaboard in Maine, where, you know, the most populated regions, they're going to stay home. And I think the rural regions, um, you know, when you go into the western part of the state, will turn out heavily for Trump, along with those city votes. So I do think that Maine would go to Donald Trump. Um, Virginia is a state that I see... That I see um, going to Trump, of course, because of the low Democratic turnout. But, um, you know, Glenn Youngkin has won the governorship here. And, I, and you know, this is becoming more of a Republican state. And just so many Democrats are going to stay home that I think Donald Trump would be able to carry it. Iowa, Indiana, and Ohio, three states that he won in 2020, of course, are going to go to him again. Texas would go to him, even though he will have an appeal here. And, yes, I did give Mitt Romney's home state of Utah to Donald Trump. Um, in Minnesota, um, I think this would be state. This I think this would be a state that would go to Trump. Um, there are many liberals here. It's a very liberal state, and Mitt Romney won't do very well among these liberals, as we know. And of course, many Democrats are going to stay home. And this is a state that he almost won in twenty sixteen. He was like a little more than one percent off from winning. Right. Um, all swing states basically are going to go to Trump. That includes Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Uh, states that he won in 2016 are just going to go to him. That's the facts. You know, just many people are going to stay home from Mitt Romney. Democrats don't want to vote for a conservative. They, it is a liberal Democratic Party. Um, uh, swing states in South Florida, Georgia, and North Carolina would go to him. Mitt Romney won't have much appeal among African Americans here, nor will Trump. But again, you know, Democratic turnout will be low. Arizona, I see Trump winning. Um, Nevada, I see Trump winning. Just because these are, you know, very close states. Um, Mitt Romney, hmm. Well, I will give New Mexico and Colorado to Trump. I was going to give Colorado, or I was going to give, I mean, New Mexico to Romney just because this is a state that he would have much appeal in because of, you know, it's very similar to his home state of Utah. But I'm um, just saying that it went to Biden by a likely margin. I think any likely Biden state would have to go to Donald Trump. Um, so, oh, in Hawaii, I think this would be a Romney state just because it's so solidly Democratic. Uh, New York is solidly Democratic, but uh, for, but for two reasons, I think this would be up for grabs. One, Donald Trump um, is from here, of course. Home, home states don't play much in, in elections of today, but I think it would be place some part, you know, this favorite son aspect. And two, Mitt Romney won't do very well in cities. I think Trump would outperform Romney in cities. Um, but I do think that it's simply too democratic, democratic to go either way. It, it has gone solidly democratic for as long as I can remember. I can't remember the last time 
it went um likely democratic and can't definitely can't remember the last time it has gone for a republican so i will have to give this to mitt romney so donald trump wins in a landslide with 356 electoral votes to mitt romney's 182 mitt romney only carries four five six seven eight the, Mitt, Mitt Romney only carries 13, uh, or 12 states plus Washington, D.C. Or, I'm sorry, 13 states plus Washington, D.C. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time.